Welcome to Sir Betterment, where we bring you financial, motivating, and betterment knowledge. In this video, we'll talk about the philosophy of slow living. So without further ado, let's get into it. The norm these days is being busy. That's why it's so strange that taking things slow and doing less is seen as more challenging. But these days, more and more folks are discovering that more is not always better. And remember, being active does not equate to significance. Being busy is not necessarily a sign of success in life. Isn't it better to take pleasure in every aspect of your day rather than just a few? How about a rich and fulfilling existence instead of a hectic and tiring one? Like Annie Dillard said, how we spend our days is, of course, how we spend our lives. Learn the benefits of slow living. As the world gathers speed, slow living is making a comeback. The concept of slow living refers to an approach to living in which one chooses to slow down to appreciate one's surroundings and material possessions better. Self-care is often cited as the simplest definition of slow living. Some people who identify as slow living reject traditional ideas like regular work or high-stakes academics in favor of a more relaxed way of life. However, you choose how you want to define slow living. Some core principles tie it together, such as taking a deep breath, pampering oneself, and putting one's connections first. Incorporating some slow living principles into your everyday life can help you feel peaceful, particularly when the world feels hectic. This is especially true if you find it difficult to slow down or press pause on obligations. It's important to pause for a minute and commit fully to the slow living philosophy. Here are some of the core principles of slow living. Perhaps you'll discover a solution that works for you here. Number 1. Take time to breathe. Simple? Unfortunately, it's easy to forget. Inviting more calm into your daily existence can be as simple as taking deep breaths. By focusing on breathing more slowly, you can enhance your awareness of the present and strengthen your connection with your senses. Number 2. Embrace simplicity. Simplifying your life voluntarily so that you can take more pleasure in the things that matter is an important principle of the slow living philosophy. One method is to follow Marie Kondo's advice and eliminate anything in one's house that no longer sparks joy. Getting rid of clutter will make your house a cozier, more inviting location to spend time in every day. Number 3. Slow down to cook. One of the best ways to enjoy a leisurely life is through the art of cooking. Traditional cuisine is so valued that it has inspired a movement called slow food. Try taking your time in the kitchen and at the table, enjoying the textures, flavors, and aromas of the food you prepare and consume. This will not only make eating more enjoyable, but it is also an excellent method to exercise awareness. Number 4. Spend more time on relationships that matter. The practice of slow living involves rearranging one's priorities. It's about figuring out what you care about most in life, and rearranging your priorities to make room for those things. Many people value quality time spent with family and friends, but finding that time can be challenging. Small gestures can have a significant impact on the quality of your interactions. For example, you spend time with a loved one over dinner without other electronic interruptions. Or, dedicating 30 minutes a day to listening to a loved one in person or online, again, without interruption. Number 5. Set aside time for yourself. It's not always simple to take a break from responsibilities, but scheduling regular peace and quiet for yourself is crucial. Spending time by yourself is good for your mental well-being. Time spent alone is a great way to recharge and focus on yourself and your objectives. Number 6. Move your body regularly. 
walking in the fresh air can help you forget about your to-do list for a while and focus on the present moment, particularly if you live in a busy city. The more active you are on a daily basis, whether through an at-home workout or a brisk walk first thing in the morning, the more relaxed your brain will be. Number 7. Take Digital Detoxes Spending less time glued to screens like phones, TVs, and computers is essential to the slow living philosophy. Frequent digital detoxes can help you calm down. Whether napping instead of mindlessly surfing the web or gazing at the sky instead of answering emails. If you remember nothing else from the slow living movement, let it be this. Make time to disconnect to reconnect with the natural world, yourself, and those around you. Your body and brain will probably appreciate it. Number 8. Understand busyness and recognize that it is a choice. You'll understand that busyness is largely an emotional state. Therefore, as you do with many things in life, you have a choice. The following suggestions for a slow living are largely based on this understanding. Always remember that slow living is a lifestyle choice, so your decision matters the most. Number 9. Start slow and small by downshifting. Start slow. Shift gears down to the first gear. Take the first step towards slow living by embracing simplicity. And keep in mind that there are some life tricks you just can't pull off. A better approach is to face them into your life one by one. It's something most of us deal with every day, often without realizing it's there, a feeling of time scarcity. We know it well, the feeling of having too much to do and not enough time to do it all. This is true not only for work, where we have too many projects, meetings, emails, admin tasks, calls, requests, and messages, but also of our personal lives. We want to exercise, eat well, meditate, learn something cool, travel, go out with friends, spend time in solitude, go for hikes, read a million books, take care of finances and errands, keep up with podcasts and news and interesting online content, and our loved ones on social networks and fascinating people on social media while finding space for contemplation and quiet. Phew! Leo Babauta, author of Zen Habits. Number 10. Practice being present. Free your mind from its habitual, unaware state and begin to focus on the present moment. Enjoy yourself while you're doing it. This means when you brush your teeth, just brush your teeth. Feel the water as it washes over your palms. Focus your attention on the food and the company at the table. Doing the dishes or cleaning the floor can become pleasant experiences with this method. You'll notice that these chores have become soothing and enjoyable. Number 11. Create space and margin in your day. It's human nature to seek out ways to occupy our spare time. Don't feel you must occupy any extra time in your schedule immediately. Leave your free time as free time. You'll feel like you're getting more time, even though there are still only 24 hours in a day. Furthermore, having pauses has been proven to be beneficial. Number 12. Stick with it by finding inspiration in the slow living community. It could be Gandhi or it's today's slow moving leaders. Think about jumping into a slow living challenge. Slowly but surely, you'll appreciate its benefits and find yourself wanting and even needing less and less. You'll realize why some people say less is more. And since we're talking about slow living, you'll find living simpler interesting. If you're tired of constantly being tired and always having too much on your plate, click the link below to find out which way of living suits you better. So what do you think? Did you learn something useful that you'll be able to put into practice in your own life? If you have, please share your thoughts on the matter below. If you've already tried slow living, I'd love to hear what tips you found useful. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Also, click the subscribe button and notification bell for more videos like this. See you at the next one.